Hello everyone, I'm Ashley Wanika and welcome to your favourite programme, Life Moments. Tonight we are still at the EU Film Festival and it's such a spectacular evening. Today we'll be taking you to the UK and Germany and we'll be screening amazing movies. Right now we're actually looking at the movie I Am Not A Witch, which is a British movie. And later on tonight we'll be looking at Oh Boy, which is a German movie. And, and for this episode we'll be also uh, hearing from the, the British representatives. So stay here on your seats and don't go anywhere. And also guys, I'm telling you guys, you have to come through. It's such an amazing uh, evening. The vibe is great. So many great things are happening. There's even hot wine, which I've tasted. Tastes amazing. It's got a little cinnamon in it. The popcorn is great. Coffee, everything, heaters, nice and warm. Good experience. So you have to come through with your friends and family. It's free and you'll have fun and you get to see us. So stay tuned for this episode. We will have so many things lined up for you guys. Don't go anyway. Ciao. Mwah. We have Sammy Harvey, who is the representative of the British Council, who is also representing the British Embassy. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Thank you. Wow. So what an interesting movie we just watched. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I want mm. to ask you, why mm. this movie? Or what? I mean, it's very different compared to what we've been watching the whole week. We've been mm. seeing other movies, but mm. then the British brought something totally different. <laughs> So we were trying to bring this film actually last year and we couldn't because the director had pulled it to do some editing. And so when it became available again, we wanted to show this. I think this is very um, relevant to African culture and, um, and also there's the British element in it as well. And so the director is of Zambian origin, but she spent some time in the UK. So there's a UK link. And so the British Council wanted to bring this film out and hopefully have a... Um, hopefully have a bit of a conversation around uh, around the topic as well. Okay, you mm. said it was relevant to African culture. <laughs> Why do you think that this film is significant to Zimbabweans? What theme or aspect do you think that we should take with us from watching this film? I, th I think it touches on um, an aspect, as I say, of African culture, which um, we know exists, and you know there are a lot of beliefs here, traditional beliefs here, um, and so it was just a way of actually putting that on screen and perhaps getting people to talk about it. Okay, wow. So the, this is the second edition of the EU Film mm. Festival. Mm. How has the experience been for you so far? It's great. I mean, I have to say, um, it's a fantastic follow-up to last year, which was the first one. Yeah. It's a really great platform for all of the European countries to bring in um, different films to give Zimbabweans the opportunity of actually getting a, a taste of, of, of the types of films that are available that come from the different European countries. Okay, yeah. and besides the film, yeah. what has been your favourite part of the EU Film Festival? Well, I have to say, the British Council film was, uh -huh. the, uh, was my <laughs> favourite I was actually well. <laughs> anticipating it. I was like, I need to watch I'm Not a Witch, and I watched it and I was mind blown because I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, no, I think, um, but I have to say, there's a, there's a really great collection of films here, so I'd encourage everybody to come. It's free. Um, it might be a little bit cold, but do come. We've got heaters inside. Yes, you brought your British weather. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. Um, but yeah, but please do come because there's a really great collection of films to watch. Okay, yeah? perfect. Yeah. You heard that? Please do come. It's free admission. Come with your friends, come with your family, mm. come and enjoy it. The British weather with the warm heaters <laughs> inside, good food, good people. Please stay tuned. Don't move from your seats. Ciao. <laughs>
everyone. I've been brushing up on all my languages. We're still here at the EU Festival and with a man who needs no introduction. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Thank are you enjoying you. the evening? I have enjoyed the evening and I'm still enjoying the evening. It was a good movie that we watched today. Okay, so the British also brought their cold weather with us. Hey, it's winter now. <laughs> winter keep warm, is here. keep warm, ladies and gentlemen, keep warm. So what, do you, what are you looking forward to in the to this film festival? Well, I think I'm expecting good stories. Um, the stories that people don't really tell as much as we watch them, like the one that we just witnessed here. And it's a film from Zambia. If you haven't watched it, it's called... What's, what's, what's the name? Uh, it's Under the Screen. Yeah, that's the name. <laughs> Under, Under the... the Perfect. Yeah, it's a film from Zambia. Okay. And you know, Zambia is like a twin to us. Yes, exactly. And it's a good thing that the EU has given us an opportunity to witness what other Africans are actually doing. And that's exactly what I'm expecting from the film festival. Okay, perfect. Stories, stories from Africans, stories from Europeans, but just stories, good stories, and stories that people don't really say every day. So will you still be here for the German film, Oh Boy? Will you still be here for that film? Uh, definitely. Okay, great. Uh, definitely. Um, and, and by the way, my my name is um my name is um uh, my my name is um uh, my name is Boskeda. Yeah. Like I said, a man who needs no introduction. I'm sure everybody <laughs> knows, and they're going crazy right now. But please do come through. You can you can come see everyone here. Enjoy the vibe and have so much fun. So please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and ciao. Guys, what's up? Welcome back, and with me tonight, I've got Josh. Welcome. What's up? Okay, so you've been here for two years at the EU Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you tell me what's the change that you've seen from last year and this year? I think the attendance has been a lot better. Okay. Um, and I think that's very encouraging. Um, last year we didn't know what to expect, uh, but it was still good. And this year, I think we, we were a little bit skeptical a little bit scared but still the people came out and we're having a good time all right so yeah. which film are you looking forward to from this whole festival the one that i'm really looking forward to is i am not your negro uh-huh i yeah that's that's the one okay that's basically the one, yeah. all right yeah. but besides the film what's been your favorite part about the eu festival for the past two years um i think just the mixing and mingling and meeting some really cool people like yeah. yourself uh-huh um and just taking in the creative vibe okay you know i mean it's always good to have stuff like this in the park lights uh food conversation yeah. so yeah yeah it's been really good it's been so really the eu film festival is all about cultural exchange yeah. what have you taken from other cultures being a zimbabwean uh the one thing that i would say i've taken is that it's good to talk about stuff yeah you know? i mean some of the films that are screen they talk about some very touchy subjects mm -hmm. that we wouldn't usually talk about in in our own society so yeah it's good to talk about stuff okay wow that's amazing yeah. so you've heard it from josh this film festival is actually a place to learn a lot of things about people's cultures besides being zimbabwean but also from other european countries so you should come through with your friends and family enjoy the show come have some food meet some good people good vibes and chill and please guys Stay, th stay tuned for the next episode. Ciao.